Hello and welcome to Indie Attack today with Kelson and Woody. Uh, we are continuing 7D FPS week and we are checking out Lepidoptera Reveler by Papillon Team, which is very appropriate that it's this... by Papillon Team. Yeah. Because this is a, a butterfly um, light platforming exploration game. It's kind of an odd combo it is. of concepts. <laughs> so how this works, you're floating on a massive void of nothing. Right. Um... And, and it's, it's golden butterflies. Golden butterflies are flying, flying around. All which yeah, ways. If you saw the Cowboy Bebop movie, it really reminded <laughs> me of, the, of that. In one hand, you have an orb of light. Yes. And in the other hand, you have a crossbow, mm -hmm. which it's it looks like a crossbow. I realize it's playing. This is actually shooting pins out of it, like you right. would mount an insect with. Yes. On a board. Which is very cl it's a very clever. And how the game, it's actually a platformer. How you play it is that all the platforms are invisible, yeah. and to make them appear, you need to pin one of the light butterflies to them, and then that will make it a full platform. And by doing that, you use your light orb to attract them, You A, to discover where platforms are. Yeah, because first of. you have to discover where they yeah. are, and there's a whole funky thing about, um, you can see where the platforms are based on the location of your orb, like yeah. the first step. You know, around it or between it or in front of it, and um, but there's a trick to getting the butterflies yeah, there's a trick in the to get, right like, spot. The butterfly to fly over the right thing. Yeah, and then actually being able to hit it, and then you have to hit it with the crossbow. <laughs> yeah. So it's a it's a kind of a funny combo of all. Yeah, these different there's a things. couple things going on, um, and it's a cool idea. It is a cool idea. It's really good looking. Those yeah. butterflies looked great. I, I gotta say. Like, yeah, visually, this is a nice game, and the orb looked really cool yeah. too. Like, and you can tell this seems like um. Kind of basic, uh, maybe like Unity assets or something. Sure, in there. sure. Like, yeah. Like the all your items are pretty simple in there, but they're combined in a really nice way. I agree. Yeah. Like in, in uh, you know in the seven day competition format, I think it. Yeah, it's like it definitely had one of the more um, visually arresting. Yeah. Uh, games that we played. And this is one of those we played a few games like this. Um, Up was one of them for oh, a while back. Okay. Yeah. Where I like. This kind of defies all genre conventions. Yeah, it's like it really does. A yeah. platformer puzzle shooter thing, and it's first person. first person. Yeah, yeah. like it's very. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's hard not to nail down. Yeah. It's not. It's an atypical kind of experience. And all that being said, I don't know if you could really expand this out to be much more than it is. Like, I think if you could come up with a lot of concepts like this, and you had to switch between them, mm, yeah. you could do a more complete game like this. You yeah. Know, if this was the theme for a Zelda dungeon, it'd be I, great, dude, I was but just I wouldn't want to see that. it be a theme for the entire game. Exactly. It feels like a Zelda dungeon, ultimately. Like, just yeah. in the, I mean, I mean, having a bow doesn't hurt that at all, <laughs> you know, and having kind of magical things flying around, like, all that. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I really thought, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it could be a game by itself but it could be a component in a game you yeah. know and like using like using orbs to sort of lure creatures in an environment and then use them to reveal the environment i think that just core do that and apply it to maybe other creatures and different things interacting or yeah. or like getting more control give your orb different functions or yeah something like that. yeah or if you get different kinds of control like if you could i don't know make a big thing and like fly with the butterflies for like a second or something make a little yeah. cloud of butterflies things like that you know like adding different functions with the butterflies themselves would be cool too um but yeah, I think it's worth playing just because uh, it is—it's short and and it, it it's pretty easy to learn and it's interesting and too. it's interesting. It's a cool concept. Yeah, I think the overall this competition so far has really had a lot of good concepts. You know, like I'm really pleasantly surprised. And this is another example. I'd yeah, say. check it out, Lepidoptera Revelare. Look at all the golden butterflies. 